Next way, SQL Developer. I'm a big fan of SQL Developer and loading data into Autonomous is really, really cool with SQL Developer. And I've always one installed here in my hands-on labs and also on my, on my machine here as well. So I have a local installation. You download it, simply Google SQL Developer. Newest version, I think, is 19.2 at the moment. Quick, simple, works with CSV, Excel, XML, JSON, Afro, and local files. Or it works also when your file is already in your object storage. No worries with that. So let me show you how we load the data now with SQL Developer. So in this case here, I need my wallet file. The wallet I downloaded before, Wallet Metal. And I define a new connection in SQL Developer. So the connection needs a name. I call it ADW Metal. My admin user and my password, save it. And the key thing is, I access now the cloud, access now the cloud wallet, which is on disk. This is the zip file I downloaded. I didn't even unzip it. So I access the zip file and immediately SQL Develop gives me the connection. Metal Medium I choose, save it. This will be my connection option. And the next thing is I import data. So in the table section, right mouse click, import data. And here I can access now a flat file. So local file. I access, in this case, the bands file, not the albums just to show you a different one here at first. It loads a standard set. I need to define a name for the table. I call it bands. That makes it easier. I would like to include all columns. And now I do a little bit massaging to the columns because some of them may be set too short and it doesn't harm here in my case to make them a bit longer. So I change and adjust the column lengths a little bit. And once I'm done with that, I kick it off, let it run, next, and finish means load the data. So you see the data now flowing into the ADW instance, into the bands table. So 37,000 bands here in this data set. That was the first part. I don't want to bore you by loading the albums here. I just do the albums as next step, and then we really fast forward. So table name is albums, a little bit of massaging, and then we kick this data into the cloud as well, even faster than before. And the last one, and I show you all the three options because in the last one for the reviews, there's something special I would like to point out here, which is maybe not expected, but very helpful. I call the table here reviews. And of course, I have like five columns here. I fast forward a little bit again for the first columns, but the one I would like to really point your attention to is the content. Because in the content, the SQL developer already shows me an anomaly, more than 4,000 bytes in a varchar 2. And it gives me the maximum, almost 16,000, and max string size extended is enabled by default in Autonomous. So I can load up to 32K long varchars just without doing anything extra. So this data is here as well. Data is uploaded. That wasn't so complicated. I really like that approach with the SQL developer. Really smooth and easy.